Hello, so today I wanted to talk to you about a chat GPT style model that recently got released called Open Assistant. So before we talk more about it, let's just kind of get it up and running and, you know, access it and use it. So all you need to do is search Open Assistant. Uh, the link you want to click on is open-assistant.io. Click that. You should come up with this. And then you want to try, click try our assistant. That will bring you to this page. Just enter your email address and click continue with email. Once you do that, the email should be sent to your inbox. It, for me personally, it was flagged as spam and as a virus, but it's fine. This stuff's all open source. It's all fine. Uh, just allow that. Click on the verified uh, link in the email address, and then you should have a account under um, Open Assistant. Now, it's worth bearing in mind that the company itself is trying to push models out as quickly as possible. So you might find that things break with the website and passwords are not yet set up. So things are kind of a work in progress. They're just trying to get things available to the user as quickly as possible. So in some cases, you might not be able to access the chat. So uh, that meaning the, the chat um, option here might not be available. If that's the case, just uh, you want to keep your URL up to this point where it says HTTPS blah 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 openassistant.io and just type in chat here so chat and you should be there in, this is in case this um, option here is not available cool so let's actually start this up and actually work with the the chat bot so we'll click that and then we'll just type in um, could you explain AI to me do the question and we can also mess around with the parameters here. So right now the model it uses is a LAMA 30 billion parameter model. <clears throat> and it has a preset of this sort of stuff. But you can customize it to whatever you please. Okay, so let's just do submit. And it's processing response. It might look a bit strange here, but let it do its stuff and it will kind of auto um, align itself so it actually makes sense. Just give it some time. So you can see the text here is pretty much cleaning itself up. So sure, let's start with a simple definition. Artificial intelligence, AI, is a simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer systems. These processes include learning the acquisition of information and rules using for using the information, reasoning, using the rules to reach approximate or definite conclusions, and self-correction. And you can see it kind of goes into more detail about the way you go about that. Cool, so it's pretty detailed um, and does a, it does pretty neat things. So we can also ask it, let's, uh, could you write some code to solve the uh, fib the fib bonat sequence to 10 places so Fibonacci sequence if you're not aware is um, it's the you're going in a number line it's something like 0 1 1 2 3 you, you get the current number and the previous number add them together and makes the next number and so on and so forth so yeah I mean that seems like a good enough answer um, it's adding the, the 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 number previous in the sequence with the number previous previous in the sequence, and it makes sense. So it is pretty cool, and it can do some more interesting stuff. Okay, so let's actually talk about the company behind this. So Open Assistant is one of the applications on top of this this large company called Leon. So Leon L I I O N stands for Large Scale Artificial Intelligence Open Network, and it's it's a non profit organization. You can think of it as what OpenAI open AI was supposed to be before it became monetized and closed, closed ended. And I would highly recommend checking out the website, the project, the whole company itself. They've m made some fairly large models of themselves, so 5 billion parameters, 400 million parameters. And yeah, so these are weights that they have made themselves, so that openly accessible so anyone can access them. And they've got some other projects under the hood, which I would highly recommend. So they actually have a GitHub page that you can access. So you can actually get this Open Assistant locally on your machine. 
although I'm not aware or entirely sure on the GPU and RAM requirements to run this model, but if you want me to have a deeper dive into it, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to figure out what I can. But right now, I would recommend just checking out the demo, uh, checking out how far you can push it and kind of work from there. Okay, so you might say, why is this or how is this model different from any other AI models we've previously talked about on the channel? Well, the difference between Vicuna, uh, Alpaca and Koala is that they use Llama models by default and can't be swapped with any other one. Open Assistant, on the other hand, can use multiple different weights. So if you do intend on using this in a business setting, you can sort them out for another open source weight. So right now the, the chat model here uses Llama, but the GitHub repo allows you to swap these weights out. And I do believe in the future they do intend on swapping the chat, this kind of this live chat demo out with, um, with, with different models and different weights. Okay, so just to end this video, I thought it would be good to give a shout out to the many people behind the project, from the people that helped fine tune the model, to the people that helped pay for uh, com cloud compute space and that sort of thing, and also the founders themselves. Now, it's worth bearing in mind, because all this stuff is open sourced, including the data sets, you can actually help out to the project. I'm sure they'll need, the more they help, the better, so by all means have a go, um, see what help they need. Um, talking about the founders themselves, one of the founders that you could probably find on YouTube is a guy called Yannick Kilcher. I, I think I'm pronouncing his surname correctly. Um, he's one of the founders behind it and have really helped push Open Assistant like, towards a mass audience because he has something like 207,000 subscribers. So he has a very big audience he can push towards. Um, but yeah, I, I believe show credit where it's due and he did really kind of push this project forward and that's really how I found out about it from him. So yeah, any help you can give to the project is well appreciated in terms of helping to fine tune the model, giving your questions and answers and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I believe this covers everything I wanted to talk about for this particular video. If you like what you saw, maybe subscribe and like so you can help share this video across YouTube itself and help promote um, Open Assistant. And hopefully, um, I'll see you guys and girls in another video. Bye bye.